Hello, Atomians. This is Rebecca, Star Master from Atomy Canada, but you can call me Trinity. I've been with Atomy since year 2015, and today I'm sharing with you how I overcome the rejections and how I become successful because rejection is part of success. And as we know, when we start Atomy, we are so afraid to be rejected, and usually that's what happens to a lot of the people who end up quitting. Atomy, for me, has been such a big learning curve. Since the very beginning, I've been sharing Atomy with my love and the, the passion just to make sure everyone in the world gets to know what Atomy, what kind of company Atomy is. So, but of course, during my sharing, I've, oh, I've experienced so many, so many rejections. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, what do we think about rejection? How do we feel? How do we feel about this word? Is it negative? Is it positive? Because the word itself is, you know, we believe something about rejection, which is we're not loved, we're not good enough, something is wrong with us, and we're not saying the right thing. So the word rejection alone brings in a lot of negativity. So rejection is just a word. Don't identify yourself to the word. What we do in Atomy is we want to collect data, which means if someone enjoys your presentation, you can ask them for a feedback. What do you enjoy about it? What do you enjoy about Atomy? How did you experience it? And if someone do not enjoy it and they reject you, use it as a database. So don't get emotional over people's rejections. So if you look at it as a learning opportunity, then that way you're going to take every experience a positive one because everyone has their own mind. Everyone will make their own decisions. So when it comes to rejection, we try to stay neutral. And when we try to incorporate our own ideas when we are sharing atomy, we're also giving pressure to the person we share it to. So choose to recognize the positive. And as you journey into atomy, there will be many, many different situations for you to deal with. And all these situations and all these circumstances we have to stand in a neutral ground. So we cannot react negatively because why do we share to begin with? We share because we want others to benefit from the products. We want them to be healthy, we want them to be beautiful, and we want, to, want them to use the absolute best quality at the absolute best price. And if they come and join Zoom or join YouTube, like what you are doing today, if they don't, that is also their choice. So when we share the platform of Atomy, we share so they profit. We want them to profit from the system. We want them to benefit from the products. So we cannot take it personal. And when we are uh, doing all of this, many people have certain intentions. So examples for us to realize why people reject us or why we feel negative when things uh, don't come out the way we want to. Because first of all, what I explained was our intentions. If our intentions are for their benefit and their value and for the person that we're speaking to to understand the company and also if they want to profit the way we want to to create financial freedom, we have that intention for them. And the second one is expectation. Because many of us, we come in with an expectation. And if that expectation doesn't happen, we feel bad. But does that mean that that was a bad presentation or a bad or um, negative uh, sharing? I don't think so. The, the sharing itself could be very positive, but because of our own expectation for the person, that expectation make us uh, feel rejected because it wasn't the, ex the outcome that we wanted. And also the timing too. Sometimes people, they're not ready. They're not ready in their, their life to open up their minds to see atomy. So no matter what we say, what we do, that timing is not there. And we might be too eager to register people. And I find that is one of the faults. Okay, let's not say faults. I think it's more the fact that because we're so eager to sign people, when they actually register, they think that they've done something for us. 
Like basically, they feel like, oh yeah, I've given you what you want, and then that's all. But actual reality, when I share Atomy, I want them to sign only when they want to buy something on the shopping mall and to understand the concept of why Atomy is beneficial to them, and then I will register them. Otherwise, the account will not be activated anyways. So once we're too eager to do that, we ourselves give pressure to the person we're speaking to. And our individual personalities, you know, for myself, I have a way of delivering Atomy, but look at all the leaders, we're all successful because we all have our own way of delivering our passion and our love for what we're doing every single day. So sometimes people might not like what I say, but it doesn't mean that it is what I said, there's something wrong with it. It just means that it, doesn't, it, did, it did not resonate with that person. And we have our own mind, like I said, and we also like to calculate. So when someone makes a purchase on the shopping mall, we like to tell them what to buy. And I would use the example, if I take them to another shopping store, would I put things in their shopping cart? I don't think so, right? That's kind of rude if you just put stuff in their shopping cart. But we open up the shopping mall for them and they decide what to buy. So things like that, we end up calculating too much for the person that we're sharing it with. So many times when it comes to rejection, it is only the belief of what we think rejection is. In our atomy journey, there's so many things we need to learn. And when it comes to our learning process, the only thing that teaches us is our own experience. What do I mean by that? I mean that, do notice, if you do not attend Zoom or you do not do the presentation yourself or if you didn't do the facials yourself, if you do not do walk the walk in Atomy, you cannot express yourself. So if you cannot express yourself, you're unable to experience what it feels like and it's the experience that teaches us which we integrate within ourselves and that creates a transformation. So in the beginning, I really have a hard time with my partners because I have a very controlling for myself in my background. I was a manager in most of my roles, so I'm used to controlling the situation. And that has become kind of like a hindrance in the beginning because I'm not allowing my partners to grow in their own way and to experience atomy because atomy is for everyone, which means you do not have to do it a certain way which I might be expecting, right? So the, the whole part of this rejection is part of success is that we have to first express herself, then experience it through our expression so then we can integrate it into ourselves the experience for our own transformation so success is a it's a process it's not you know you can't achieve success without going through your journey success becomes you so all the rejections that you get will teach you the value of success and as you grow in this journey you know we experience different challenges at different stages. So every leader are going to experience what they need to, and then they will grow from that. And through that journey, they will grow from that. Right now, of course I have challenges too. Until I become Imperial Master, I open myself up to the challenges. Of course I feel negative sometimes, in regards to what it is that I need to do with my partners. And that is normal. It is really, really normal. And I mentioned earlier on, we have a platform for us to become successful. So if we see rejection, not as a part of success, but dividing it, and we live in a dual, duality, polarity world. There's opposites. but. You know, our Atomy, we have the most wisest teachings that I learned from our chairman. So as leaders, we journey ourselves and we grow as we journey in the Atomy platform. What happens is, as we're learning through Atomy, our company gives us so many tools 
And what I remember the most is the wisdom of our company's teaching. That is transcend the dimension. This is a powerful teaching. If you want to, you can watch it on um, our ch.atomy. And also business as mission, genius of the end, and renew day by day. These are the wisdoms that we practice, including our company motto. What I mean by that, if you think about genius of the end, that is exactly what it means. It means this and that. You need rejection and you need success. You cannot just enjoy one of the fruit and not the other. And um, business as mission, I was very complex in how I can do business in Atomy because I'm not a business person. But through the missionary work and through the missionary contributions, it became a business for me. So we have to know the polarity of life and accept the fact of these polarities. We have a belief system. Every single person has a belief. And through this belief, that creates the emotions that we feel every single day, which will lead to the actions that we take every single day. So what happens with us is we have so many things that affects our beliefs, which creates our personality, our society, our community, our culture, our ancestral, so many things that becomes our belief. And through Atomy, I was able to let go of a lot of lack mentality, lack mindset. So through that uh, evolution, I try to learn the company's wisdom. I believe in transcending the dimension. I believe in the genius of the end. And I believe in all the teachings that Atomy has given me. So when I practice those and integrate those into my life, I become different. I, I transformed. And so if you want a beautiful journey in Atomy, first we must understand and question our own belief system. Question it. Why do you believe you cannot succeed? Why? Because Atomy says we all can succeed. Do you want to be an Imperial Master? Think about what you believe about your partners. Think about what you believe about what you do every single day. Because it's the belief that brings in the emotions and the action. And through changing our belief, it is the limitations that we have. If you can lift the limitations of the belief, you're able to change your emotions and your actions instantaneously. Because we are all, I always say, we are all a walking belief system. Atomy, there's many things we have to learn. Rejection is one of the things you will have to face. And the faster you understand that rejection is part of success, you will build your own confidence. And your confidence includes yourself. You will become more confident yourself. You will be confident in the products, in the system, in the company. So when you speak, you don't fear rejection because your dreams are bigger than that. Your, your dreams are gonna carry you beyond all the rejections to get you to where you want to go. So give yourself and find yourself in understanding what beliefs you have within you. Because that, I, I, I worked with many, many people in the seven years. And through that seven years, I cannot believe <laughs> that people are succeeding without much of a skill set. That's how it is. I cannot believe it. There's so many testimonials. Doesn't matter if you are 80 years old or the tw under, under 30s. They are all succeeding. So what is the difference between that age gap, gender, and race, and culture? Probably it's because they believe. And so in Canada, we are very blessed. We lived here. We have beautiful weather. We have beautiful um, nature. So many things that uh, distracts us from our goal and our vision. You know, because we, we do have a blessed life here in Canada. But I encourage every single one of you to really take that determination and consistently work with your partners, grow your consumers, and build yourself. Because Atomy is not for Canadians only. It is a global company. We are opening 20 more countries in the next five years. So think about that. You are not 
bounded by your culture. And I am an example, and so many others are examples. And if you want to do atomy and be successful and be rich and have financial freedom, embrace failure, embrace rejection, embrace all the challenges because only that you can achieve success. And as I'm standing here before you, I cannot wait to see many of you. How many years later, it, the timing is not important. Five years, 10 years is not important. It's the fact that you all reach your dreams and I'm gonna be there to watch all of you guys get your masterships, bring out more, more positivity to Atomy and live the culture and the dreams that you want. So thank you so much for listening to my lecture and I will see you soon. Thank you.